Hey guys, this is Break Coach. So since since this is the end of the year, it's almost the end of the year and also the end of the decade as well. So maybe I was thinking out maybe I could just make another video about how to draw the Titanic. So which which I also drew the Titanic in back back in twenty thirteen, which was now which it was six years ago. And I kinda of failed that time because it, I didn't have much space and time. But and effort as well. So I'll just start right away. So you start from the bow, you go down. You go down with a little bit of slant. And also like see the proportions of the ship itself because that's also important or else your Titanic will be small and like short or taller than what it's supposed to be. And you curve down. And also be sure to like mark your parts where what what should be what uh deck and those stuff. So that would be C deck will start here. That's C deck C D E F G and then tank top. That's how it's gonna be. So you draw a little more on that side. Keep keep just keep on going. As well as this part. Since this is the for forecastle, this part should end here, right there. Or actually a little bit shorter because we're all talking about proportions and stuff there and raise it up again go straight until you reach the end of the ship which is which is another the which is the stern well deck Stop there and make another indentation for the well deck itself. Now let's just stop here and just go back down. So in the Titanic there's some there's this thing called the keel, which you need to make a little bit that curve and go down a little because that is that is made for the ship to not list harder and you go back up again I think I think you could just extend the keel a little bit more there that's good and you finish the poop deck as well that's the poop deck and you curve down like this you don't you don't actually curve down because because of the decks and you don't really curve walls that is what it is in the in the in the blueprints now we go down this will be the rudder of the ship there like that make a right angle so that we meet with this line over there. As you go down, uh, as you go right, uh, you make a little thing down here so that this will be the place where the propeller will be. I'll just move my thing a little bit more. 
over that side and make sure it's a curve since it, it is actually curved. And then make the part where the pro pro propeller goes. We're here. Nicely done. Now for the rudder, you need to really like... You go down and then you curve and you go back again. Here, and make sure you uh, put a little bit of space between the rudder and the main part of the ship and just connect it like this. So you know, that's the part of the thing, I mean, part of the ship that rotates. Okay, we got the main hull done. Now let's go to the superstructure. But before going to the superstructure, we could just, we just uh, extend this line because this is the part where the, this is the red part starts. It's where the ship contacts with water. Now let's go on to the decks, boat deck, A deck, and B deck, which is the superstructure of the ship, as, uh, as along with the C deck over here. Make sure you make sure to like make sure to space your decks uh almost the same with each other so that you don't uh make an unproportionate ship disproportionate ship. Now you make this line over here and then you go straight because this is where the, because up here is where the decks a little bit protrude outwards a little bit, slightly. And then here you make that line, you make the same line made over here, here as well. Now it's for, now it's time for now it's time for a deck. Same thing we did we did uh before. Add uh b deck, do the same thing. Let's go down. There. Now mine's a little bit short on the, mine's a little bit short because I didn't scale it right. But if you scale it right, it should be, it should be as uh, scaled as the actual Titanic's uh, length, which is 882 feet, I, uh, as I remember. Or you could, or if you're not uh, satisfied with this, you just extend on one side of the ship. There, now we're good. Now we're off to this part where I can also improve on the length. Oh, by the way, one of the reasons that I'm doing this, what well, like, it's a side uh, reason, is because, you know, last video, I got a lot of criticisms on this. So I was like, why would you uh, criticize a video that was up uploaded like years ago? Like, if you want to criticize a video, you could go on to my newest version this is the newest version of the thing now uh i don't only draw titanics but also uh i've drew i've draw
touched on uh, the Olympic as well. It's shown on the left, left, top left corner right there, as well as the Lusitania, also on the top left corner. And as you know, uh, this is not the, this is one of the time w when I speak on a video. Because I just decided not to speak. I'm not sure why, but I don't think, I, I think, uh, I think last time I thought speaking was like not really necessary on the video before. Okay, so this is, this is all the promenades here and there. For the Olympic, the promenades here on a deck is stretched onto the front of the, sh the bow, as well as a little bit more of the promenades extend extended on B deck as well. Fun fact. Now let's move on to eight eight uh the boat deck. Now this is the bridge where the captain is was on. Just make sure they're scaled right. And extend it all the way and stop there. And then make a half line, half the line half of the height as that one. Because this this part is actually connected. It's a raised roof of one of the ADEC promenades. Now I'm running out of space here, but if if you're if you're going to draw, yeah, that'll be fine as well. If if you're going to uh go and draw, it's gonna be fine because I told you that you need to size your proportions well. This is the base for the third funnel. That's gonna be the base for the fourth funnel. Which, ha which is also a raised roof, a little bit of that. Now the fourth funnel is, is used as a ventilation system on the Titanic. As well, and because, because the decks down, decks below it was a, smoke, a second class smoking room as well as a restaurant. So they need vent ventilations for those as well. And also, uh, not, a, not a lot of people know, uh, also this is the uh, front, stair front grand staircase dome. There is a second grand staircase at the aft of the, aft of the ship. We call this fore and this aft, as well as baluster. So there's another staircase at this part. And this is another ventilation system, but it's for the reciprocating engines down here. Now, uh, I'll make an improved version of this uh, later because this is just letter paper, actually A4, European A4. And I'm running out of time because, you know, now I'm a high school student and I don't have time for these. And you make the flagpole over there. Make sure to make all these for the promenades as well. Before we move on to the funnels. When building the Titanic, the funnels were one of the last installments because they needed to fit in the boilers first and coal bunkers as well. No, bo uh, the boilers in the ship. It was actually hollow and that's why the ship, if you see the early images of the Titanic launching, you see that it floats uh, under this water line because it's light. 
it's because it's before all the fittings and the boilers and engines were installed. <laughs> now let's go on, to, go on to the funnels. The funnels are actually, uh, f the funnels are slanted a little bit backwards. Now make sure to, when you draw, make sure to distance the funnels at the same, t uh, same, ident in the ident identical uh, distances because it will not uh, be, a t be the Titanic, but it'll, it'll be other ships. And also, it's not on the it's not accurate but there are ships that are that have two funnels on one side and two funnels the other side and have a little bit more gap at the middle mostly german ships and after that you just uh just faintly just draw small lines at the middle and at one quarter down and two at uh, three quarters down and at the and at the top part of this is where you paint black. Now I actually have a better version of this, which I drew like three years ago. I think it's three years ago, yeah. Uh, but but I'm not sure where it went because I went, because I had uh, a lot of, uh, we moved houses a lot. So now I'm, I'm not sure where it went, but maybe, maybe, maybe I'll know where it is and I'll make sure that you'll you'll know as well. So that's so that's done. Now it's for the detailing of the funnels. Actually if you don't want uh these uh two lines at the funnels you don't you, you don't need to draw them. It's optional actually if you want lesser detail. This is the ladder for the funnel. And this at the back is the pipe for the funnel as well as here. Make sure to not draw it thicker. Now this will be uploaded uh, tomorrow because this is uh, today. When I'm uploading, uh, when I'm uh, recording this, is night. There. As well as this one. See, now the video is 20 minutes long. Whoa. Okay. I'll be shortening it, shortening it though. It'll be okay. Now for the third, for the third funnel, there are also pipes that go here from the ventilation to the third funnel and up here as well. Now, so let's go to the mast. Mast, the masts are also slanted, like just like the funnels. there make sure to make uh make sure to draw it in correct heights that because that's how masks work draw a faint line between the two just for now i'm gonna connect it there and there 
just in a moment. We're, we're going to draw the compass tower, which is, which is where the compass is in the Titanic. There. It's just that simple. And we draw the forward uh forward crane, anchor crane. It's called what well, that's what it's called. Now the anchor crane on the wreck now is turned this way, but uh originally was pointing this way towards the ship. And there are two wires connecting it. Now you connect the line bet between the bow and the forward mast. Change some lines if if the spacing is not good. Perfect. Yep. And also you draw this platform looks similar with the compass tower, but it it, it isn't. This is uh, if you if you see it upwards, you'll see that this is a square. If you look upwards, if you look up at the top of the ship, and this will look like this. If you look at the top, and there will be a little bit protruding out. Here for the wheel. Now let's go on to the propellers. So the Titanic had three propellers, which two of them had three blades, and one of them had the center one had four blades. But we're but we're not sure if we, if the Titanic had four blades at the side as well, because there are no uh, photographs actually uh, recorded photo photographs of the Titanic's uh, propellers, so we don't know. And in the wreckage, the stern stern section is buried deep down here. And we really can't see uh, the propellers clear clearly. There. Now, as that is done, we connect this here. Now it's for the time. It's time for cranes, as there are two cranes here. Pointing that, two cranes here, but they're pointing this way. These are cargo cranes mainly, to handle cargo. Obviously, it's around the well decks, and it's around the well decks because that's where the cargo holds are. They're over here, and two over there. Actually, two over the here as well, and as well as here one. This cargo hatch, by the way, on the wreck, is flown off over there, which also might have caused the anchor crane to turn turn and point that way, but we're not sure because this cargo hatch itself is very uh, heavy and we don't know that if the anchor crane actually had that strength to handle the, the cargo hatch from hitting the anchor crane. One here, one there. 
there. And these cargo cranes are currently scattered on the near the stern wreck, and these two, these one, uh, this one, that actually two, they're closed, on uh, closed on itself, in the bow wreck. Now it's time for the portholes. As you can see, I've. This is just blank. You have to just manually fill out the portholes and the windows as well. Now I'm just currently doing this uh, this way, just drawing straight lines randomly. But if you, you could also look up on Titanic blueprints and diagrams to find out what the Titanic what the Titanic's uh, windows are arranged. But I know for a fact that this part at the back is, a sm is also, was also a small promenade and had uh, square windows on C deck, like this. And the rest of them are just small dots. And I'll make some tips on uh, drawing the part where part on D deck as well as G deck because they're a little bit different from what you would expect from the Titanic. So as you go on B, uh, D deck, also make sure to draw a little door here because that's where the D-deck door is, the famous D-deck door. And as you go down, in, mid in the midship area, you draw two dots because that's where the restaurant is and that's how these windows are arranged and aligned. And just go all the way down to the stern. E-deck. E-deck is famous for its uh, Scotland Road, which is a long hallway that goes from, he from here to almost the end of the ship. Some people actually think that this is the uh, one that caused the ship to uh, have a starboard list, which also means to lean to port and oh to have a port list to which means to lean to port and it is calculated that the ship was listed on uh, about nine degrees when it was sinking if you want to see uh, more more about this you could check out Titanic Animations channel and also, as, al as also Titanic Honor and Glory, which two of them have produced good, uh, good real time sinking of the Titanic, and which is made in CGI. And I've also partaked in Titanic Animations. Uh, voice acting as well. It's in their Discord channel. And now as you go to G-Deck, this is where the post office is. That's where the flooding, uh, that's the one of the first rooms that that flooding started after it reached uh, the tank top. Now there, there aren't a lot of uh, portholes at G-Deck. So basically, you stop at the front, uh, the bow section, and you just put a blank, and put a, put portholes at the stern section, and that's it. That's the Titanic. And if you want to draw smokes, yeah, you can, but, I mean, it's not a moving mo It's not on water. It's just a diagram, which I've drawn right now, which I drew right now. there. 
extend extend these two masks a little so you could like put flags here one of them is a white star flag white star flag and I believe one of them is the American flag because that's where it's going and here we put you put the British flags on ships which is which is which has the Union Jack at the top left and on a blue background make sure to add a little bit more detail here as well as the keel you call this the bilge keel as well I'm seeing as well a lot I'm not sure and and don't forget to put uh, don't forget to put windows in in the top decks as well as yeah and this by the way this is the sex, second cl class entrance where the where it leads to the second class which is at the rear of the uh, rear of the ship and it also has an elevator that goes down and the first class entrances are the are these two uh, grand staircases currently the first uh, grand staircase uh, technically doesn't exist if you see the wreck you uh, you'll see a large hole that is cover that is where the stair stairwell was and you put some minor minor details here oh by the way in my last video the one that i made 6 years ago has no lifeboats so i'll cover that later make sure you put the guy wires for for the funnels as well as all uh, wiring here and there around the mast. Oops. And all, and uh seeing my last video 6 years ago would uh would, you would see a lot of differences. First is the voice. Yeah. I'll put one here. And there's there's some line, there's some wiring going down here. And now we let's finish this with lifeboats. There are four at one side here and four at the other side here, which makes and uh, also collapsibles there. And there are two collapsibles at uh, the front And after that, you could just raise this part of this part a little. That's where the railings go. There, and you finish with lifeboats. Actually, you could also do it beforehand because I I've already drew a lot in place of these like 
The lifeboats. There. That's it. That's the Titanic. And yeah, I hope you have a happy new year. Happy new year. Yeah. I hope you have a happy new year. Also, I forgot this part, which I just stopped drawing the detailing of the plates. There. Hope you have a good, uh, hope you have a happy new year. Wait, I forgot this part. Top here, here. And if you want, if you really want, you could draw expansion joints right here, going from boat deck to B deck. And here as well, right after the third funnel, boat deck to B deck. But I'm not drawing right now because I'm just all satisfied on this right this right now. You could also draw a lot of doors in the middle as well. I'm not sure I'm not sure where it is, so I just put blank. Just put a flag. Yep. Hmm. If I forgot something, just leave leave uh those comments down. Yeah. I hope you have a good uh I I hope we have a happy new year.